to interview women and the occasional token man about how their passion and purpose have collided to create healthy relationships and profitable businesses. I am Elizabeth Denham here with Rebecca Monet, and we are the co-founders of the Coterie for Women. And uh, Rebecca, somehow we got a case of the giggles, but I think we've got it together now. <laughs> hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll giggle our way through roses and thorns. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so do you have do I you guess have it's better ones? than crying. It is. I, I actually have a couple of cute ones. You know, my my thorn this week, I'm in uh, Southwest Missouri visiting my kids and my grandkids, for those of you following my journey. <laughs> and I'm interested in some investment property in Northwest uh, Arkansas. So uh Suffice it to say, I found a piece that I'm really excited about, but I needed an inspector to go look at it yesterday. And instead of me going down by myself, I had my granddaughter, my grandson-in-law, my daughter, and a one-year-old baby. And we're all in this you van. loaded them all up. <laughs> right, right. Now, if I was doing it, I'd be down there in 45 minutes. The inspection would be done. Chop, 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 all would be done. But we got to load up everybody into the van. <laughs> which means we have to take my daughter's car mm -hmm. because it has a pumpkin seat for the, the little one. Suffice it to say, she's cutting teeth. She's got two teeth, she's a year old and they're coming. So she's crying the whole uh -huh, <laughs> way <of course>. down. <laughs> and, and then um, we get whatever, a, f a few miles down the road, we notice that the gas gauge is on E. Oh, no. So we have to stop and get gas. And of course I'm a time management person. And then we get a few more miles and all of a sudden the steering wheel kind of, you know, gets difficult and locks up and is making a squealing noise. So we're thinking the whole car is going to blow up. And fortunately, thank goodness, we brought my, my grandson-in-law because he's just really brilliant with, with cars. He pops up the hood and it's some kind of line or I don't know, to the, the power steering. And he uh -huh. says, easy peasy, all we need is this whatever wrench or screwdriver or whatever he needed and he made one <laughs> phone call and sure enough they did, uh, delivered whatever this wrench was that he needed and we were back on the road but oh nice oh my oh, gosh drama that's trauma. an ordeal it's almost ordeal. like a vacation movie <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like that's a, what i'm imagining as you're talking like <laughs> it's like what next what next you know uh, but anyway, we got down to the inspection and everything was everything was fine. But it should have been an hour drive turned into a two hour drive between Ugh. all of this kind of hoopla. <laughs> well, that is thorny. That is a definitely thorny a trip, especially with a teething baby. Everything teething is thorny baby. with a teething baby. Oh, so, <laughs> I just felt so bad for her. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's funny. And Hannah's then, wisdom teeth started breaking through uh, like here and there over the years. And she just says, this hurts so bad and they're bloody. And she's just thinking something's wrong. I'm like, Hannah, this is what, this is why babies cry. <laughs> this is why babies cry. Yeah. Poor little things. Hi. Babies oh, and 20 year olds gosh. with wisdom teeth. <laughs> so oh, what was your rose? Those wisdom teeth. Oh, so I'm in uh, Southwest Missouri, Northwest Arkansas. It's early October and the trees are changing, oh, Elizabeth. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh, so pretty. The red and the yellow, which in California, we don't have. So this is like a, a special you're like a, tree. You're ever, evergreens all year round. Yeah, and palm trees, right? Yeah. I mean, they're beautiful, but not in the same way. Mm -mm. And I'm really all about aesthetics. I like beautiful things uh, around me and I like nature and so i'm just gawking you know oh how at, nice at the trees it's so pretty what's what are the temps there oh well right now it's in the 80s uh but it's been a little bit cooler uh earlier this week nice very nice yeah. so how about you tell me about your rose tell me about your thorn well my rose and my thorn it might just be that you're letting your phone ring now <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's off Sorry. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? You can you want to answer? It? We could we could take a minute. No, no, okay. no, no. Oh, I mean, this could be really private. It could be some hunky dude. You know, oh, that's that. true. In the dating saga of Rebecca Monet. In the dating saga. Now I really oh. want you to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my rose. No, is... I want to know about. 
Okay. So we, we were, you know, we got hit by a hurricane the other week, Sally, mm -hmm. she's gone. I'm looking at debris 10 feet high on the street out here. Now the trucks are going around as fast as they can trying to pick it all up because we were kind of in the path of Delta. Delta right. is going to Louisiana, which is my rose because it's not coming here. But then I feel guilty <laughs> because Louisiana is going to get it and they had Laura. So that's a double whammy for them. So it's either them or us getting the double whammy. So then I'm like, well, that's my thorn because I feel so happy and relieved that it's not coming here that I feel guilty about it. On the other hand, I'm so happy that it's not coming here that it's a rose. I mean, I'm just very conflicted about this whole hurricane situation. <laughs> oh I, don't, I don't wish ill for Louisiana, but I'm just so relieved not to have to go through that again. <laughs> yeah. I no, yeah, I feel it's guilty. Kind of it's like this vicious cycle. Every time I feel relief, I feel guilt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, so I'm just hey, all over the place this week. <laughs> yeah, a little roller coaster. I don't know. I, let's, let's weigh in on that. Because you had Hurricane Sally, it seems only fair that they get something too, right? They I mean, already had Laura this year. Hurricane Laura hits oh. Lake Charles, Louisiana. That's why I feel guilty because they're going to get the well, second one or we are. Well, I, mean, so I can't help but feel relieved, but I feel it's really like bad. It's like a ping pong game. It is. <laughs> of course you do. It's like a ping pong. You get one, they get one. You get one, they get one. So it's their turn. I guess it is if we're taking turns. I mean, ours was more recent. Here's the, here's the way I can relieve my guilt because I'm looking at things out my window that could come projectiles through the window and they're probably cleaned up by now <laughs> <laughs> like here's what the city is saying the city's all we have lots of little tiny alabama towns and they're they're sending out messages saying try to put the heavy stuff on top so that when this hurricane yeah. comes through all the little debris won't become a missile and i'm thinking and, and my friend was like on facebook she goes yeah, yeah right like i can rearrange my pile and some of these tree trunks you know are you can't get your arms around them. They're oh. huge. So we can't lift. I, thankfully, we didn't have a lot on our yard, but across the street, they have a bunch and they could just come, you know, if a good wind comes. Nobody, you know, it could be tragic. So that's how I'll get it. Mm. We still have projectile, you know, possibilities. <laughs> Here, you know, guilt is, is not a beautiful emotion at, at all. I mean, yeah. Well, it's not, but here's the other thing. I can't control it. It's not like I can feel guilty and change it. It is what it is. No. So, <laughs> And it's not watch, your fault. Watch it take a right-hand turn just because I'm glad it's not coming here. It's <laughs> Mother Nature that should feel guilty, not exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh. So anyway, <laughs> we'll see. Tune in next week to see if we got hit or not. <laughs> okay. And, and next week, we need a dating wow. report. Okay. That's right. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. So tune in. We'll find out more about Rebecca and we'll see if we have power. <laughs> we will Got be it. back next time with Roses and Thorns.